Alright my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our City Zoo Build Tropical Wings Zoo. So we are finally back in TW Gang. It's been a little bit of a break, hasn't it? And I have to apologize for that. But with everything that's going on on the channel at the moment, it's just been difficult basically to jump in and uh, build in this fantastic little project that we've got going. Uh, linked above though is last episode in case you wanna get caught up or you might not have seen it yet. So feel free to go and watch that um, either before or after this one. Um, I just wanna quickly say before we jump into today's episode, I am gonna be rotating tropical wings and do it better uh, each week i have attempted to try and get an episode of each out um you know in a week but it's just too much work to do especially with all the new content i've started adding to the channel and with me starting my football channel again um, i don't really have the time basically to be getting an episode of each out a week it's just way 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 too much work um and do it better as well it takes a lot longer than tropical wings because of the way that that project works so um it's going to be kind of rotated but um that said let's get into today's episode so here we are we're at the entrance of tropical wings uh, gang now obviously as the title of today's episode suggests we're not going to be jumping into adventure africa and we're not going to be doing the safari zone now i'm going to throw it out there now before we jump in and take a look at what we have uh, built for today's episode i am not feeling inspired to do the african area i sat and looked at my screen for the best part of an hour hoping it would start building itself i've tried to draw up concept art i've tried to plan it and I, I i genuinely just cannot get adventure africa to work how i want um i'm going to have to go back to the drawing board i'm going to have to rethink how that area is going to work um but i didn't want to start working on it when a i wasn't that inspired to work on it and b i couldn't pull it off the way i want so instead i've decided to start building something else and what i want to say as well before we jump in is what would you like to see me do next gang um the animal list for those that don't know is on the discord so um you know if you're on there feel free to go and check it out there's you know an episode recently where the animal list was included as well feel free to take a look and let me know what you'd like to see me build in the project and uh, maybe that can be one of the next things that i do because i can't see me doing adventure africa anytime soon that area there it's causing me nothing but headaches but Let's head on in to Tropical Wings. Uh, something else I'm going to say is, you know, I'm probably going to bring this up more so when we do the what's happening next, but I actually think this zoo is going to go over a little bit of a revamp in certain areas because... Um, after doing the do it better series um i've realized that there's stuff here that could be better as well so i think i'm gonna kind of hammer that home where this project is concerned and this is basically what we're going to be taking a look at today gang it's this building here um this building is the new insect house um a bug's life is basically what we're calling the building um i have still yet to do all the signage uh, i've i've i'm in the midst of creating a custom sign to kind of go on the front of the building i need to do all of the education stuff inside so do obviously keep that in mind that none of that stuff's been done the reason it's not been done is because i'm revamping the way that the education boards look in this um, zoo i have kind of found a new design that i prefer to what we've been using and i want to start adding some really unique stuff um, if you see the reptile house build from the do it better series you will see that um you know i think it just adds so much more life when you add a load of random boards as well as the educational ones and the animal boards so i think we're going to do that for this i just ran out of time and i wanted to get this episode out because it's been so long since we've done an episode of tropical wings but uh yeah this is our new insect house so a very quick look kind of at the building uh on the outside um it's really unique the roof design um it took a bit of playing about it does have to be said it wasn't easy because I've actually used uh, one of the gridded uh, roof pieces but I've managed to kind of get that to work uh, and then I've kind of gone with a, a, a concrete kind of combination on top I very much enjoy doing the roofs like this with these little indents inside um, and I think that I'm gonna go round and kind of work on a lot of these roofs to kind of do that because I think that they might end up looking a bit better um, so yeah I, essentially I think next episode for Tropical Wings it might just be a revamp of a lot of stuff basically um, but yeah so this is kind of like the main insect house building and then we've got a little butterfly house on the side now i'm going to throw it out there the butterfly house was not intended to look like this but i basically couldn't get it to look how i wanted it to look so 
this is kind of what we ended up with. Now, uh, first and foremost, let me just show you kind of the outside area. Um, and as you can see, this used to just have this little shop here and all this area was kind of empty, wasn't it? Obviously, we've got camels here. We've got the horses uh, up this way. Um, and this might seem like a bit of a weird kind of spot for this, but I just really thought that it worked. I think that this is a nice kind of walk up that you're going to take. And then you're going to be met with like this, um, you know, this big building here. I thought with the raised bit of terrain there we could put, bring this lovely little staircase in and around which i very much enjoy i really like the way all the terrain changes because we've got a staircase there we've got a little ramp that goes down and i like this here because we've got all of our little bee um, hives and that over here so i kind of felt like it went hand in hand um you're going to see that the, all of the foliage on the outside of the building is not done yet the reason it's not done is because i'm actually in the process of revamping the edging of the um of the path I've grown very tired of this I think it's a bit bulky it's a bit large but I realize that to go around the whole zoo and replace it is going to take me a lot of time but um you know I'm going to talk about all this in the what's coming next so that you can get a bit more of an insight in what I'm thinking but uh yeah I've kind of um was playing around with a couple of designs and I think this is the one I like it's gonna require a lot of pieces to kind of make it happen but um, I think it it looks really really nice and then when you've got the added foliage and it's kind of growing over the edge I think it's gonna look um, pretty cool um, and I'm gonna kind of go with these planter designs alongside the the ones that I've been using uh, in the zoo just so we can mix it up a little bit um, but yeah I think it looks really nice this area now especially with that building there kind of fills it out a little bit doesn't it so um I, I very much enjoy this and uh it just kind of helps helps this area kind of fill out a little bit um i was inspired to do this off the back of doing the reptile house in uh the do it better series so um we kind of have that series to thank for me kind of cracking on with this and it ticks a lot of the animals off the animal list as well so um that i'm very happy about so let's um let's jump on in gang so you can take a good look at our new a uh, bug's life experience which is our uh bug uh, our insect house basically so this is the the first room this is kind of like the main uh room that we've got now i have got proper exhibits in here but i've also kind of got um you know the uh the exhibits that you can kind of make um i can't think of the bloody word it's very late at night that i'm recording this episode um so yeah these are just kind of to represent kind of other animals what i decided this could be was maybe like an a couple of ant uh, habs and they can cross over using these uh using these twigs and stuff you see this a lot in zoos they usually use plastic tubing or london zoo for instance they use rope uh, to go um between um the two boxes and stuff so i thought that was kind of like a little cool idea obviously with Use this gravel piece in the bottom as well with some rocks and some plants and whatnot and i think they've come out really really nice uh if we go over here as well we kind of got this exhibit that's all kind of uh, filled out and uh you know that's all built and whatnot use the decals on the bottom to kind of create that sandy design and then this one i've left empty because what i'm going to do is put on this sign that um yeah, we've got new uh habitants coming soon basically so that's going to be like uh something that's going to be um you know built out soon and i might put like a, a little uh, thing on the screen so that you kind of can't see that there's nothing in there um but i'm not sure um so the way i've got around this with the insect house um the exhibit boxes as we know are very very large gang I'm, I'm not a fan i wish we had different sizes and especially when it comes to the insects they look so out of place they really really do so what i've done is i've created this design where we've made small windows to kind of represent um each of them represents a, a habitat basically it, 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 it um you know kind of represents that so we're gonna have more windows than we've got animals so another thing that i'd really really appreciate is maybe give me some suggestions of insects that we could um you know put in here um you know obviously we've got the insects that are in the game all of them are in here all the insects that are in the game are in here there's 13 insects in the game so i've put them all inside this building um but yeah if you've got any suggestions you might like like me to place so feel free to let me know and i'll note them down because i've got to make loads of balls basically and that would uh that would really really help um so yeah as you can see we've kind of got this area here this is kind of the main area um so we've got all the insects kind of in these boxes i'm not going to show you all the insects because i'm going to be honest with you gang they are nigh on impossible to find because they're so small and 
you know, these Habs are just so large. They they really are just a real overkill. And uh, yeah, look, there's one there. Look at the size of that animal. And then look at the size of this box that it's in. It just seems a bit silly. Um, and especially when you kind of read the Zoopedia about a lot of the arachnids, like they don't need... Uh, they don't go in there in pairs they literally they're solitary animals a lot of spiders so it just seems a bit random that we get these huge boxes for the insects but um yeah so we've kind of got this little window here if we go over this way it's a slightly different kind of look here if you look at it front on it looks like two separate habs but obviously when you kind of come over here it looks a lot deeper and a lot bigger it's just one of those things um i did it i did think about putting walls up on the inside but the more i did it the more i didn't like it so i just thought we can just use our imagination basically um we've got these custom lights on the ceiling if you haven't seen the do it better series these are the custom lights i made for that reptile house and i just thought they would be perfect in here so i felt like this was the perfect place to kind of reuse them basically a bit of ventilation as well kind of uh, in the ceiling um that kind of just kind of hammers that home we've got like, a little staff area here now i've got a few staff areas in this building but not all of them are finished this is the only one that is so if we go in here we've kind of got like a little storage room with some bins and whatnot uh for some stuff in here i've got some plans to do some others as well but um like i've like i've already said i, I really run out of time and uh i just didn't get around to it so yeah we've got that little staff area there basically so as you can see um you kind of come around that way uh, for the staff area it goes in and out there um, and the path actually does go around because it's just a quicker routes basically for our staff but um, I'm not sure how quick it is considering you can go through here because this was kind of a, a bit of a late redesign this I decided to make this a lot more open so that you can kind of circle back and you can go out this way as well as in so why we've got this single door and the double doors um, there so you can go back out this way in case you want to take a different route around the zoo or you can go exit the building this way um, and you can exit out to the horses and then you've got the restaurant over there that's that's quite some view to be honest if you are from uh, from these windows out onto the onto that hab there i really really like it and then obviously we've got kind of a window and whatnot over here um so yeah let's kind of go around the way that's intended and it is this way gang um so yeah you would go around this way uh, you'd come up here and then that's our butterfly house there um, this is like another staff area and this is one I have started now I'm actually toying with putting a window on here and this almost being like the facility where a lot of the you know animals are kind of kept behind the scenes um, I'm sure we've all seen it when we we go to the zoo I know London Zoo's got this in in particular where you can kind of have a look behind the scenes at kind of all of the you know small insects and whatnot that are kind of kept off exhibit or animals that are breeding and so on and so on so yeah i'm kind of thinking about doing that in this room i did make a start on it but um you know again just run out of time but it's there i just might add a window at a later date so this is our butterfly room now i'm sure we're all familiar with like butterfly rooms and whatnot you kind of have those plastic kind of um uh those plastic doorways didn't you that you kind of have to prise your way through that stops the animals getting out now we don't have anything that's like translucent enough unfortunately in the game but what i decided to do now the reason it looks a bit weird gang is because we've got two layers of it but what i decided to do is take the commas and i just made these lines basically and uh, i just tried to make it look like it was those um that it was like those uh, doorways basically so you can kind of walk in and walk out but stops the animals from from doing so when I put doors on it just looked a bit strange it didn't feel right so um, I decided to go kind of with this um, so this is kind of like the little airlock bit and then you would walk through again and you kind of find yourself in the butterfly house so this is like the butterfly room um, again I was looking at a lot of references for the butterfly houses like in zoos and um, a lot of them had kind of like um, a semi see-through kind of um, tarpaulin type deal rather than glass windows um, the thing with a glass window is it would warm it up it would act like a greenhouse and I know that a lot of um, butterfly houses are temperature acclimated anyway but like you, you can't control the temperature as well when you've got glass because your temperatures will go up and down like a lot more rapidly but you know because of all the game offers we kind of had to go with um, glass I'm hoping that maybe like that tarp stuff that I'm talking about is maybe introduced at a later date 
say, I think it would be a nice addition. And um, it could be something that we could just add straight on here, just in a different layer, kind of on the inside. Um, as you can see, we've got these lovely kind of LED lights um, on the ceiling. We've filled in the sides, um, but we've got the glass that goes up the back and uh, up this way. Now I had initially intended to do glass on the sides as well, but because of the shape of this uh, building, because of this shape that I've gone with, I was so bored of just doing boxes, gang. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've really got to start steering clear of just doing boxes. And it's one of the reasons why I went for a different roof uh, shape on this building as well, because I just feel like we've got so many flat roofs in this uh, zoo. We need to change it up a little bit. So I went with this shape, but in doing so, it made it really difficult to put the glass on the sides because um, of the shapes, basically, of the glass. They're, they're you know, squares, so there's, the limitations were there. It was really difficult, so instead, I kind of put these um, these cladded designs on the side, but they match up with the cladding on here anyway, so it kind of makes sense. Um, so that's kind of my thinking behind that. And then this is just like your little walkthrough, basically. We've got all your little feeders for your... For your um, for all the butterflies and whatnot. Um, I, I think it's a shame, obviously, that we don't have butterflies in the game. We can't really have anything in here. This is really, it's just for show, isn't it, this? But um, I think this has turned out really, really nice, to be honest with you. Um, I like all the like saplings that we've been able to use so we get some smaller kind of higher trees in here and then it's all dense bushes and lovely little tr uh, plants and flowers and whatnot and then just kind of like all the feeders and stuff and uh, yeah you just kind of walk around this way you'd obviously take in all of the butterflies that would be flying around in here um, we've obviously got a ventilation system kind of all on the outside as well uh, and then if you was to come this way you kind of met with this little box now you see this a lot in the zoos don't you which is like like this is usually where um, the um, caterpillars are, you know, essentially um, waiting to turn into butterflies. Basically, they're in their cocoons uh, and they kind of all get put on these um, put, put on these rods, don't they? And then they kind of hatch out and they get let out. And so, uh, yeah, I've kind of done this. Um, so this is like a sliding door as well. So that would um, so that would kind of work. Um, and that'd be the way the zookeepers could kind of um, you know deal with that. Basically, um, what I've done in here is I have actually put some education and just kind of sunk it in to see if we can draw people in because there is a path that kind of goes through the middle but um if people don't walk through it it's not the end of the world um it, it's just a cool little room and i just felt it was something that really added a nice touch to our to our um insect house basically um so yeah if we go this way gang we kind of uh, we come out and then we enter our arachnid room now um i've done this as um this is almost like the one of the big things on the tour um, is the arachnid room. As you can see, there's lots of windows, so lots of spiders and whatnot um, that are kept in here. Um, and uh, I've also added a bunch of benches and a little stage. And essentially, this is where they would do educational talks on spiders or um, scorpions and some of the other kind of bugs and creepy crawlies that they've got um, in the zoo. Um, I want to add a table on here, and I do, I do want to add kind of like... Um, almost like um, a backing um, on there as well um, that's kind of set forward slightly so they could walk behind and there's, you could you know keep animals behind there. I think we're going to use the screens to create it, but for now this is kind of um, all we've got. A little bit of um, rigging on the, on the ceiling with some lights and stuff um, to kind of light up the stage and just plenty of seating basically for anyone that wants to sit in on uh, the, the, bug, the bug talk basically. So as you can see, more windows gang uh, here kind of um, highlighting all of the animals and whatnot. All of the spiders are kept in this room uh, and then yeah, you go across this side and as you can see we've got all of our spiders and um, uh, on that side as well um, and then we walk this way it opens up a bit in here um, it gets a bit more spacious which I which I really really like um, you know because it's quite a tight building but yeah we open up a little bit here um, and then we've got um, a few more exhibits um, in this side I think I've got my scorpions over here and then I believe I've got the cockroaches and the snails and stuff over on this wall. Um, the snails sometimes stick to the glass, which kind of helps because you can actually see them, can't you? But yeah, you can see the snails are there and then the cockroaches 
are in here and you can actually see them at the bottom there so that's actually quite handy isn't it we've got that nice kind of long one at the bottom tried to go with a bunch of different shapes and whatnot uh for the habs and these walls are all a bit blank at the moment but i i I plan on adding, you know, stuff about, you know, conservation of insects and, you know, what insects are what, what is an arachnid, so on and so on. I add a bunch of that stuff. It's just, it really does take time because I have to sit on Photoshop. I have to come up with the designs and kind of plan them all out and whatnot. But, um, and I, I just didn't get around to it. I've not really had the time, but I do plan on um, sitting down and doing a big redesign on all of those things and getting them all put in uh, for the next episode of Tropical wings as you can see we've got another wall over here with a bunch of um, a bunch of habitats and all of the boards are already in place a couple of benches here for a little bit of a, a load to be taken off and i've put a bathroom in this building um i feel that this is something we are really we're, we're sort of lacking this uh, in the zoo a little bit so i decided to put um you know a bathroom in over here slightly different door design for this bathroom wanted to mix it up a little bit but it's always good to have that and um that again will draw people into the building believe it or not because um there is a lack of bathrooms really um in some spots of the zoo and then we come up this way and you met with kind of like your last habs to, to look at um but yeah it's another kind of uh, big window design and then you would come around the corner and uh, you're met with another one there and that's basically that is the insect house again i've gone with these really lovely lights over here because the ceiling is slightly higher um, in places I, I like using different ceiling heights it gives um, it gives a building a, a bit of character and a, and a real dynamic um, this here is going to be a backstage area as well but as you can see this is really not finished i didn't even put the ceiling on i haven't finished the walls um, but this is going to go all the way around here and there's going to be a double door there at the back that's going to be a staff access area and then we're going to have a little kind of uh, fill out there with storage and whatnot just all needs finishing at a later date this is kind of how the back of the building looks gang um the reason i've kind of left all of the back of the building exposed is because i plan on sticking like some staff access back here obviously to get to this but um I'm not decided if I'm going to come off this way with a path and we might have more habs over here. Like I'm thinking about potentially doing some aviaries here because if we are going to have staff access, I think it would make sense that they'd be able to access the aviaries, um, you know, in this area. And that's another kind of exhibit that we can put in that I think would, would kind of add to the zoo as well. So yeah, I'm thinking about putting something like that there. Um, but yeah, we might even come off kind of in this direction um, with the path. So um, that's why I've kind of left this area back here kind of all blank rather than filling it in with um, with plants and whatnot. Um, and then we're kind of working off this way. I kind of got ideas for what I want to do here. We've got all this over here. Um, there's just so much really going on. I got lots of different ideas floating about for different animals, and uh, you know, but this was the this was the one I really wanted to get done because it ticked a lot of boxes with all the animals, um, you know, that that you managed to fit in there. And if we're really zooming out as well, you can kind of see the sort of um, space that that building takes up, and I I think it fits in there really really nicely. When all the planting's all done, I think it will look really really nice. Um, I love the fact that it's at a bit of a weird angle as well that the doorway because the doorway needed to line up with the path like in a particular way it's actually a bit of a strange angle that building so when you kind of look uh, from above you can see it's a bit of a strange shape but it's a bit of a weird angle this is kind of um, these buildings here are on grid so that that building and that building that's on grid so you can see just how just how off it is basically got that building there as well i think from above this zoo is looking spectacular there's a lot of open spaces but then with the buildings kind of uh thrown in as well is pretty nice um over here i'm planning uh, in this area here to do an open kind of field um sort of area maybe with some um just with some nice planting and whatnot but just have like a nice little open kind of field that people could um sit in uh if we did bring the path around i think we'd do another small staircase kind of here bring that path around but we'd have kind of ex an exposed field here with some nice planting um we don't have anything like that in this zoo and i think we i think we definitely need it and i think it would make 
makes sense here because we've got these nice little walks um, you know through um, that we kind of got packed out with plants and that as well so I think it might be nice to kind of put that there because I discovered recently that there's a grass path piece so you can actually make these grassed areas with benches on and it looks like they're on the grass and I, I was not aware of it I think it must have been added in the conservation pack and uh, just something that I missed so yeah kind of thinking of doing that there and I think that'll be nice next to the uh, next to the bug house I got to think about what I'm going to do here I'm thinking about potentially put in a little kind of uh wall in uh along here with some fencing some gravel i don't know there's lots of little things and i want to do to kind of finish it off but time was of the essence and i, I didn't want to leave it another week before getting a, an episode of tropical wings out and to be fair to the most part the building is finished and uh you know i think it looks pretty good gang all right my friends let's talk about what's going to come next and uh kind of my feelings about the project uh at the moment so um you can thank do it better for this basically but do it better i'm really really enjoying that series i'm, I'm enjoying the whole process of taking an old build and rebuilding it now i don't think anything in this zoo particularly needs rebuilding but one thing that i do think this zoo needs is um the planting needs a bit of a rethink um there's a couple of areas that need tidying up and there's a few things that I don't like anymore like um, and I think they they need addressing basically um, uh, there's a few areas that I just think they, they they were okay when I built them but because this project is like a year old in that year I've learned stuff so there's things that I, I that I really want to do so first and foremost is the planting um, I think that we need to have a, a, a bit of a think basically on the planting there's some random stuff going on that I don't like. There's a lot of open areas. Um, when I was looking at zoos, they really kind of pack those areas out. They end up with very dense kind of foliage, a lot of the zoos I've been looking at. So I think that needs addressing. That's one of the big things that definitely needs to be kind of um, looked at. Um, now, there are parts of this zoo that are really difficult to build uh, in, and this is one of them. So I don't think we'll be doing too much to the entrance plaza, but everything else should be fair game. The habitats are not going to change. I'm very, very happy with all my habs. I think the planting in all of them is very tasteful. I think it works. I think they're all kind of hitting the hitting the sweet spot for me, the habs. But it's all the surrounding areas, um, you know, these areas uh, where the planting is concerned. I think we could have a bit of a rethink with that planting. So that's something I want to work on. I've already mentioned this, um, this edging to the path. I'm not a fan anymore. It started to just get tired. Um, it was good at the beginning, but I just feel like when i'm looking at designs like this for instance it's just cleaner i think it looks nicer yes it's a lot of pieces but i just think it's a clean design i think it's really really nice it's doable as well um you can you can achieve some nice shapes so um that's something that um i'm definitely gonna be looking at as well that'll probably be something i just do in bits i think you know like for instance we can take this area here i can delete those two bits out and just do them uh move the trees out of the way while i do so um you know again you know along here there might be some places where i leave it you know maybe the edges of habs where we might want it a bit uh, you might want the bricks a bit you know larger a bit thicker um we might leave it there but i think you know along some areas i want to have a bit of a rethink and kind of touch that up so that's the planting that's kind of the edging some of these seated areas i think i want to have a little bit of a rework i don't like some of the benches i've been using i think we might have a look at the seating and kind of um have a bit of a think about that you know like i'm really like these benches um you know i actually really like these metal tables um you know there's stuff that I think we can look at and we can just um, change and tidy up basically. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, you know, I think those are some of the biggest things. One of the major, major things I need to do is go around the zoo and make sure we've got education at every single animal, but we've got all of the boards in place as well. Um, you know, like, so make sure that all the boards are complete for all of the animals, basically. Um, you know, I don't necessarily hate this design um, for some of the larger animals, but... Um, I think that we could change it up as well with a few other designs. So 
yeah, they might take uh, it might take a bit of time to do all that, but I think a rethink there and adding some like random educational boards as well might be might be a good thing because a lot of the signs in the zoo are very kind of generic animal boards. But when you look at zoos, there's a lot more stuff than just that. So I think that's another thing we need to look at. Um, and then, yeah, and I think another thing is just finalising some areas, you know, what we're going to add. You know, I really need to finalise this. Their stables are going to, I'm actually going to rebuild their stables. Um, the more I look at it, the more the horses just look way too large for the doorway and it doesn't really work. So I'm thinking of um, knocking this down and rebuilding their stables. It's going to be a bit of a larger building, to be honest with you. So that's another thing I'm thinking of doing. Um... I want to finish off areas, you know, that have been left or, you know, got little, you know, bits like this where there's just junk everywhere. Um, you know, I've got that restaurant to build as well. There's just lots of little jobs that need doing, basically. Um, you know, they've got the inside of that building that needs finishing. Um, you know, I've got all these little restaurant things to think about and add back in. Um, you know, we've got these plant in. Uh, over here, um, the Aldabra tortoises and whatnot. Um, so we got those guys. Um, you will see that the Aldabras, by the way, gang, are. Um, if I do a click on the, this, they are um, a bit larger than they once were. This is because I'm using the Planet Zoo Plus mod. Um, so it does mean I actually need to go and rework these doorways. Um, so that's another job I have actually got to do because that animal isn't going in there. Um, so yeah, I need to rework the doorways. But yeah, because we're using the Planet Zoo Plus mod, it's made these animals a bit more closer to their actual size uh, in the wild. And you can see they're actually quite a big animal. And so this, um, this indoor area actually makes a lot more sense now the animals are a bit larger and um, now they are a bit larger as well you can see all the details on them yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous aren't they um so yeah um Enjoying the Planet Zoo Plus mod, I actually think it's kind of added something that um, I was missing out on. It's resized a few animals, to be fair, um, but these were, are one of them that were were definitely uh, rehoused. This over here, I'm thinking about actually putting like a pond in. Um, remember, this was the last episode I did, and I asked for a few ideas. I'm thinking about putting maybe some water in there. Not not 100% on it, but definitely something I'm thinking about. Um, you know, we've reworked a lot of stuff uh, in this direction. Um, but um, again, I think all the plant and everything over here needs thinking about. Um, one of the next animals I am thinking of doing are the buffalo because I know they're going down here and I've kind of got an idea of what I want to do with them. Um, I've also got this skywalk idea, which is why this is kind of being built out this way um, where I'm going to take a small uh, two meter path and kind of run it up quite high in the air. I'm going to make like a skywalk around the um, Asian area. Um, we've got all these dense trees in over here, but I think again, foliage needs rethinking. Um, so yeah, there's just lots of little jobs that I want to do. All the roofs as well. That was the other thing. All the roofs are going to be redesigned. Um, so that we can accommodate these items a bit better. So essentially they're going to be redesigned like this, which I think is actually a bit more realistic and makes a bit more sense. It's a bit cleaner. Um, I really like it. Like over here, I did it over here, toyed with it over here a little bit. And I, I just think it looks not as so much nicer. I think it looks a lot better. Um, so yeah, I think a redesign on a lot of the roofs are... Um, in order, I don't think I can redesign these though because we've got uh, some issues over it. I think it's the amount of pieces that got used with these fences and it's just really, really difficult to kind of mess about with these buildings, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, um, there's just lots of little jobs, gang. That And that's one of the big things I'm going to be working on. And the other thing I'll be working on is you know, start sending your suggestions for the animals that you would like to see, basically. What I'll do is I'll stick the animal list up on the screen now so that you can take a good look at it. Feel free to pause and then pick one of those animals out that you would like to see. Leave me your comments in the comment section below and maybe, potentially, that will be the animal I do next episode. Try to avoid the African animals, though, that are kind of left that are going in here because I'm not touching it because I really do need to work on the concept for that area. Um, that's that's going to be... I wanted to get the Afri African area done really early with this project and instead I'm having to put it off and put it off and put it off because I just can't get it right. But um, other than that, all the other animals are fair game 
feel free to shoot me your suggestions. And so there you have it, my friends. We're done and dusted for another episode of Tropical Wings Zoo, a relatively quick episode this time around, but I do hope you've enjoyed the build, my friends. Um, I really, really like it. I think it was very much something we needed to add. It's kind of a big building and it's a few animals that are out of the way as well. And maybe some animals that uh, people are not that excited about, but they're really, you know, they're animals that are a must have in any zoo uh, that you're building uh, in the game. But um, if you're new around here, my friends, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to support the channel. Drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Uh, but until next time, stay safe, stay humble, and I will see you real, real soon.